Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader Exotic Gardening and SherryAnnRichardson.com and welcome to our daily vlog. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about civil unrest. Have you ever thought about it? I mean, really thought about it. You know, we have all of these riots and protests and so many things going on right here in the U.S. Um, and there's lots of things going on in other countries too. But have you thought about the violence and what a dangerous situation it really is because people do get hurt and they do get killed and as a prepper as a homesteader do you have a plan have you done any survival planning at all on how to protect you and your family during times of civil unrest if you haven't you really really need to think about this because as we've seen things can get pretty bad in some of these areas entire rows of buildings can be shut down traffic can be stopped people loot these buildings which means you know they burn them they break into them they steal different things out of them you know alcohol cigarettes um stuff like that but they also take the food and these business owners have a really, really hard time being able to rebound from this because, yes, they probably have insurance. Not all mom and pop stores have insurance because sometimes just being able to pay for your stock and pay for your building really does take everything that you make and you have very little left to live on. And I would know that because I've owned a number of retail stores myself. So, um, but typically the three things that get taken first anytime buildings are looted is, like I said, your alcohol, your drugs, and your cigarettes. As soon as those are gone, they start with baby supplies and then food. Now, you may think baby supplies, that's really odd unless they have a baby. No, because the prices for reselling those baby supplies are really high and everybody has a need for money even during times like this so today over on experimental homesteader on the blog i have a new post up it's called civil unrest survival planning and i'm going to put the link in so you can just click over there but seriously even if you live in a small town things can happen things can get out of hand really quick when people assemble and decide that they're going to protest something. So it's always a good idea to have a plan. And when you make your survival plan, don't pick the most popular streets in town or sometimes not even the highways and think that you're going to be able to just, you know, get in your car and drive out of town because you've got to think like out in L.A. where they stood out on the highways and blocked traffic. So this does happen. Think of alternative routes. And if you know there's something planned, something coming up, leave early if you can. It's also important to make sure that everyone, including your children, know what the plan is. Are you going to have them go home from school if something happens? Are you going to have them come to where you work? Maybe you're going to meet someplace else. Maybe you have a family survival camp someplace, and that's where you're going to meet. So, like I said, come on over and check this out because this is a really, really important topic. And I would love to continue the conversation below in the comments with you guys. So, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have experience with this, leave all of that below because I'd really love to continue this conversation with you. So anyway, that's it for today's vlog. Please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a fantastic night.